Front Panel Designer has an extensive library of commonly used elements or groups of objects available to place on your panel. Doing so is very simple. To demonstrate this, I will place a slot, circle fan vent, on the left side of our sample panel. Then I will insert a sub D connector underneath the fan vent. I will begin by selecting the Macro Element tool at the top of the screen. When I do this, the macro library appears on the right. I look for the folder titled Fan, then click to expand the options. Clicking on a macro object title once will preview the object below. I will scroll down until I come to the slot Circle Fans, then find the one with the appropriate dimensions for my fan. When I have found the macro object that I want, I click on it, then drag it over to my panel, then release the mouse button. Next, I press the M key to position the fan vent where I want it on my panel. Now that I have positioned the fan vent, I will insert a sub D connector onto my panel and make adjustments to it. Within the macro library, I find the folder titled Sub D Connector and click to expand the options. Then I find the macro titled 15 Pole with changeable drillings. Clicking on it once will show me a preview. This is the one that I want, so I drag it over to my panel and then press the M key to enter the coordinates for where I want it positioned on the panel. Now, I want to make some slight changes. By pressing the space bar, the Select tool is now chosen. I double-click on the Sub D connector and a window comes up which allows me to change the rotation. I enter 90 degrees into the rotation field, turning the macro object onto its side. At this point, I can either select Next or OK. Selecting Next will allow me to make changes to the other objects within the group. Since I have no further changes to make, I select OK and I am done. I have now inserted two macro objects from the macro library, making minor adjustments to one.